Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. This video is all about best settings for Nvidia Shadow Play for recording gameplays on low-end PC. So if you are having troubles recording gameplays on your PC, make sure you guys stick around till the end of this video. I hope this video helps you out and if it does, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As I can see, 96.8% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, so please do me a favor, consider hitting the subscribe button. Before jumping in this video, I wanna let you know about my official Vizio page where you guys can request me to make a personalized video for your problems for as low as $5. Again, I promise that every money, every penny I earn from Vizio will be going to charity. So make sure to show some support to your creator. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, I'm gonna make this video short and simple. So let's move with step number one, that is opening up GeForce Experience. Once you open up this offer, you'll be landing to the home screen with all of your games available in your PC. Now, you have to search for this gear icon in the top right section right ahead of your name and then click on it until you find these features over here. And you have to find that the in-game overlay is available in features. For me, it says ready. If for any reason, if it doesn't say ready for your device, that means Nvidia Shadow Play is not compatible with your graphics card. In that case, there are no fixes to that problem. But if this is ready for you, you'll find in-game overlay. Just make sure that the green tick over here is enabled and then go to the settings section. Now once you are here, you have to go down to highlights and then make sure that the maximum disk storage is set to 20. If for any reason you are not able to edit this thing, go back and then make sure that instant replay as well as record are turned off. Then go to the settings over here and then scroll down. Go to audio and then make sure the volume is set to 100. Microphone source should be the source of your microphone. For me, it's HyperX Quadcast. Also, make sure to turn off the boost because it makes your voice very noisy. Then, go back. Now you have to find video capture. Just click on it and the instant replay length. You can set the instant replay length according to you. For me, it's 2 minutes 30 seconds. And it also shows approximately the file size you're gonna be making per record. For me, it's somewhere around 1 GB and I'm fine with it. Now again, if you have a low-end PC, we can just select the quality low. The resolution should be set to 720p because we still want our game to be 720p. And then the frame rate should be set to 60 frames. Now, I highly recommend you guys keep the bitrate to 15 or 20. Keep that in mind, doing this bitrate will automatically lower the quality of your recording. If you have a medium-end PC, you can go for 1080p recording at 30 Mbps. Go back, open up the HUD layout. Now, make sure the camera is turned to off, status indicator should be on the bottom right, performance should be set to off, viewers should be set to off, and comments should be set to off. Go back and then open keyboard shortcuts. Now this is not necessary but you guys can set your record to control plus this thing. This button is right under your escape key and we almost never use this button while playing games so I believe that pressing this button will instantly record whatever you want. Unless you wanna look at your keyboard every time and press some buttons that you want, it will effectively ruin your gameplay. Now go back and then scroll all the way down until you find this performance monitoring. Now, make sure that the number of latency samples is set to 20. I don't know, but this is important, so just make sure that you set this to 20. Also, after doing all of those settings, press Instant Replay to on and then close this thing. Instant Replay will automatically detect and record replays of your best gameplays in a supported game. Also, all of the screenshot of the settings that I've applied will be uploaded to my website so make sure you guys check out the website i'm gonna be publishing all of my screenshots over there so you guys can check it out and apply it to your nvidia shadow play as well i hope this video helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel it means a lot to me also don't forget to check out my video if you want to make a personalized video for your problems 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.